Alright, what's up everybody? It's Aspire here. And before I start this tutorial, I just want to say that I have an editing pack on my selfie account. It has like presets and um, color correction and all that stuff. You guys just want to check it out real quick. And yeah, thanks for watching guys and enjoy the tutorial. everybody it's aspire here and i'm back with a new tutorial in sony vegas you guys have been asking for this tutorial for a pretty long time now and i'm finally getting to it so yeah, let me just get right into it i'm gonna show you guys how to um sync trick shots or like whatever trick shot you're using in your edit to a certain part of a song so i'm gonna show you what part of the song i'm using real quick all right so like that little um stutter part he does right there that's the um i'm gonna sync my trick shot to that part and um, the first thing you want to do when you're doing it, you want to um, add markers to all like the parts of the beat. So I'm going to add a marker here. Uh, Alright, and after I do that, I'm going to sync it up because some of them look a little bit off. All right, now they all look synced up. All right, so after you do that, I'm gonna just um, turn the velocity on on the clip. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you just wanna like add a point, like right here, like something closer to the first marker, but not too far in the middle. So you wanna add, go to this first point right here and just add it up like a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way to 300, but it all like depends on what clip you're using and like how, like the speed of your clip and everything like that. So I'm just add this to like 238. Then you wanna go to this marker, and drag it like a little bit higher. Well, not higher than this point, just higher in general. I think you wanna just add a point in the middle now. Just make this pretty slow. I'm gonna make this like 50 or 60. All right, yeah, 59 should be good. Make this fast fade, cause it makes this flow better. Then I'm gonna add another point right after it. Let me just center this a little bit more. All right, then I'm gonna make this slow fade. Then I'm add another point, take it all the way to 300. And you can just tweak it at the end, just make sure it looks like it's going pretty good all right so after that i'm gonna add another point right here i'm gonna do the same thing i did before so I'm just make this oh uh, yeah some like just some like it all like it's all your preference or like what kind of clip you're using so i'm not gonna like copy the same exact setting from this one just something similar so like this another point in the middle make sure it's always on fast fade and slow fade so it um, flows like a little bit better you might see the stutters if you keep it on smooth fade, so that's why I always make it to fast fade and slow fade. Set this 300 again, I'm gonna just do it another time. This part wasn't slow enough, so I'm gonna drop this again. Slower too. the last time. All right, so we'll just bring this back up again. Slow fade. I'm not gonna bring it to the top, but I'm gonna just make it pretty high. Something like that. All right, so you can see like it's synced up, but it's not synced up like too good. You see? Oh no, never mind. It's synced pretty good. Yeah. Oh, see, it is synced pretty good. But um, so after like I have it like switch from like regular cam, like like just a regular kill like this. Let me just turn the effects off real quick so it's not in the way. All right, yeah, so I have it like switched from regular cam to um, the kill cam, so I'm sure you guys have like sync that up too as well. All right, so um, you just wanna turn the velocity on, on this side. And I usually have like a set, like setting that I put this on. Like I usually start it off at like, probably like 60 or 50. And then I'll make the second point like a little bit lower. Probably like not not 30 because sometimes it gives you frame drops. So I'm gonna go to like 45. 
All right, now I'm gonna go all the way down here and set this to like, it's something like if it's not on like the point I want, I'm just set it like I'm gonna set this to 49 just so it's a little bit faster, but not too fast. Then I'm gonna add one more point and just set it to like 66. All right, that should be good. All right, so after you do that, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna delete this overlay. I don't really need it right now. And you can see like it's not gonna be synced up, so I'm gonna show you guys how to sync it up right now. All right, so yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look like where this starts. You can see like where he's like aiming at the tree a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna just take this back a little bit and bring this back too to see if it matches up. Yeah, so I'm just, that matches up, but not like too much. So I'm gonna just try to make it as good as I possibly can. All right, so that's pretty good. All right, so then now it looks pretty sync. So I'm gonna just do a preview right now to see how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna see how that looks. All right, so as you can see, that flowed pretty good with the beat and everything. Like all the parts are like perfectly on and all that stuff, and they sync perfectly with the kill cam and the regular cam. So that's like how I add my velocity and everything to all my clips, and that's how I sync and everything. So if, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or anything about this, just let me know in the comments. If you guys want me to do any type of tutorials next, just like let me know everything. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.